Hello students, come on we'll start the problems on process costing. Already in the previous video we have discussed the features of process costing, in which type of industry we apply this method of costing, process costing. So if you have not watched the first video, please watch the first video, then only you can be able to understand the procedure of process costing. So what is process costing? You must know what are the features in which type of industry we apply this method. So already we have done uh, short problems and uh, now we are going to do one short problem and then we'll start the main problems. So before starting the problem, I suggest to my viewers to get a printout of all the problems which I have provided in the link under my description. So I'm reading out the next problem, problem number five. In a factory, 10,000 kg of metal was transferred from process 1 to process 2. Right now, we are in process 2. So, 10,000 kg of material is coming from process 1 to process 2 at a cost of rupees 80,000. So, quantity 10,000 kg, value 80,000. This is the output of first process and input of the second process. The following cost related to the process too. Wages 6,000, overhead 4,000, sundry material 2,000. These are the expenditure incurred in process 2. In process 2, 10% of the input is normally lost. Means normal loss, 10% of input. So input is how much? 10,000 kilogram. Quantity of input is 10,000 kilogram. Or 10,000 kilogram ka 10% will be normal loss. Here 1,000 kilogram will be normal loss. Actual output is 9,200 kilogram. See here. Input is 10,000 kilogram. And normal loss is 1,000 kilogram. So 10,000 minus 1,000, 9,000 kilogram should be the output. But here it is given in the problem, 9,200 kilogram is the output. That means we are having 200 kilogram abnormal gain. In other words, I'll say like this. 10,000 kilogram input dale. Aur usme se 1,000 kilogram normal loss hai. To 10,000 minus 1,000, 9,000 kilogram output aana chahiye. Lekin problem mein diya ke actual output 9,200 kilogram hai. To 200 kilogram zyada nikal raha hai. This 2,000 excess kilogram is the abnormal gain. Now we have to find out the value of abnormal gain here. And wastage fetches 2 rupees per kilogram. So normal loss ka jo wastage ho raha. So wo wastage ko sell kar rahe 2 rupees per kilogram. Prepare process 2 account. Now we have to make one account process 2 account. So this is the process 2 account. Particulars kilogram amount. Particulars kilogram amount. Quantity amount we have opened on debit side and credit side. First of all input to process 1 account. Actually this is a process 2 account. The process 2 ko jo input aara, kaha se aara? process 1 se aara. The output of process 1 will become input of process 2. So to process 1 account 10,000 kilogram and 80,000 rupees. Ye input ho gaya. Right? Now to wages 6,000, to overhead 4,000, to sundry material 2,000. These are the expenses incurred in process 2. By normal loss, it is given that 10% 10 of the input will be normally lost. 10% of the input. Input kitna hai? 10,000 kilogram. So 10% of 10,000, 1,000 kilogram will be normal loss. And it is given that the wastage fetches 2 rupees per kilogram. So jitne kilogram normal loss hua, uska 2 rupees per kilogram se wastage realized, scrap realized. So 1,000 kilogram into 2 rupees. So 2,000 rupees are fetched by sale of wastage. Jo wastage ko beche, Usse 2000 rupay income ho gaya. Income hai. This is the income. Now by finished stock account. The actual output is given in the problem 9200 kilogram. It is given. So actually 10,000 kilogram input. 1000 kilogram normal loss. So 10,000 minus 1000. 9000 hona chahi hai. Ya finished stock 9000 hona chahi. But in the problem it is given 9200. So 200 kilogram abnormal gain. 200 kilogram. Now we have to find out what is the value of this 200 kilogram abnormal gain. So here value of abnormal gain is equal to normal cost by normal output into units of abnormal gain. Previous short problems we have done this type of problems to find out the value of abnormal gain. So normal cost take the, all the cost on debit side minus income. 
डेबिट साइड क्या क्या है एटी थाउजेंड प्लस सिक्स थाउजेंड प्लस फोर थाउजेंड प्लस टू थाउजेंड दीज आर दस्ट इनकम क्या है टू थाउजेंड माइनस टू थाउजेंड तो एटी थाउजेंड प्लस सिक्स थाउजेंड प्लस फोर थाउजेंड प्लस टू थाउजेंड माइनस टू थाउजेंड यू गेट नाइनटी थाउजेंड रुपीज इज द नॉर्मल कॉस्ट नॉर्मल आउटपुट का मतलब इनपुट माइनस नॉर्मल लॉस इनपुट कितना है 10,000 किलोग्राम नॉर्मल लॉस 1,000 तो 10,000 माइनस 1,000 9,000 यूनिट्स 9,000 किलोग्राम इज द नॉर्मल आउटपुट नाउ वैल्यू ऑफ एबनॉर्मल गेन 90,000 डिवाइड बाय 9,000 इट इज 90,000 डिवाइड बाय 9,000 इनटू 200 200 यूनिट्स इज द एबनॉर्मल गेन तो वैल्यू ऑफ एबनॉर्मल गेन इज 2,000 दिस इज द 2,000 वैल्यू ऑफ एबनॉर्मल गेन नाउ टेक द टोटल 10,000 plus 200, 10,200. Here 1,000 plus 9,200, 10,200. Now amount. If you take the total of debit side, you will get 94,000. 94,000 minus 2,000, you will get 92,000. So this is the balancing figure. So 92,000 rupees is the total cost. And how many kilogram? 9,200 kilogram. So 92,000 divided by 9,200, 10 rupees per kilogram. Output transferred rupees ten per kg. Kg ninety two thousand divided by nine thousand twenty. That's all. This is the fifth problem. The short problems we have completed. Five short problems we have done. Basic problems. Now we are coming to the main problem where we have to prepare process one account, process two account, process three account like that. Right. Now first main problem I am reading out. Carefully concentrate. Product X is produced after three distinct processes. Main product is X product. This product is produced after passing through process one account, process two account, process three account. The following information is obtained from the accounts of a period. Now it is given information: items total, process one, process two, process three. Items are direct material, direct wages, direct expenses. The total is given. We don't require total. We want the individual process one, process two, process three. So process one, eighteen hundred, three hundred, hundred. Direct wages are hundred, two hundred, hundred. Direct expense three hundred dash two hundred. ये तीनों process का expenses दे दिया. Direct material, direct wages and direct expenses. Then production overhead. Overhead का मतलब indirect expenses. तो <coughs> indirect expenses जो production overhead है, incurred is eight hundred rupees and is recovered at two hundred percent on direct wages. In every process, we have to take production over it. This should be 200% of direct wages. जो भी process का direct wages रहेगा, उसका 200% production over it लेंगे every process. Production during the period was 100 kilogram. Production का मतलब output. तो every process में 100 kilogram production हुआ है. तो we'll get, we will take input as well as output 100 kilogram. There is no wastage. प्रॉब्लम में कहीं पर भी वेस्टेज नहीं दिया तो हम सपोज ये करेंगे इनपुट एंड आउटपुट बोथ आर इक्वल दैट इज 100 किलोग्राम देयर इज नो ओपनिंग और क्लोजिंग स्टॉक्स प्रिफर प्रोसेस कॉस्ट अकाउंट्स अल्टीमेटली इट इज आस्किंग यू टू मेक प्रोसेस कॉस्ट अकाउंट्स तो वी हैव टू मेक प्रोसेस 1 अकाउंट प्रोसेस 2 अकाउंट प्रोसेस 3 अकाउंट रिमेंबर देयर इज नो वेस्टेज गिवन इन द प्रॉब्लम So we assume input and output both are equal. That is 100 kilogram. That's it. Now see carefully. Main problem. Process one account. Process one account debit side particulars kilogram amount. Credit side particulars kilogram amount. Now I am taking on debit side. To direct material 100 kilogram. Actually production is given 100 kilogram. So I am taking the quantity 100 kilogram. 100 kilogram 1800 rupees given in first process. Then direct wages hundred, direct expenses three hundred. Production over it is two hundred percent of direct wages. It is given in the problem. Production over it is two hundred percent of wages. So wages, how much are the wages given? Hundred. So hundred rupees ka two hundred percent is two hundred. Two hundred percent ka matlab double. So wages are hundred rupees. So hundred ka double kya ho jayega? Two hundred. Right. The total is 2,400. Debit side total 2,400, and quantity is 100 kilogram. Now we don't have any normal loss or abnormal loss. कुछ भी नहीं है. Input output दोनों equal है. तो I'll take 100 kilogram, 2,400 here. Now balancing figure by process two account balancing figure same 100 rupees, 2,400 same. 
जितना डेबिट है उतना ही क्रेडिट आउटपुट ट्रांसफर्ड एट द रेट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर रुपीज पर किलोग्राम टू थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई हंड्रेड यूल गेट ट्वेंटी फोर रुपीज पर किलोग्राम दिस इज द आउटपुट सो द आउटपुट ऑफ प्रोसेस वन विल बिकम इनपुट ऑफ प्रोसेस टू अब प्रोसेस टू अकाउंट डेबिट साइड टू प्रोसेस वन अकाउंट ये प्रोसेस वन अकाउंट से प्रोसेस टू अकाउंट बना हाउ मच हंड्रेड किलोग्राम टू थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड हंड्रेड किलोग्राम टू थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड नाउ अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट डायरेक्ट मेटेरियल थ्री हंड्रेड डायरेक्ट वेजेस टू हंड्रेड देर आर नो डायरेक्ट एक्सपेंसिस गिवन इन सेकेंड प्रोसेस सेकेंड प्रोसेस में कोई डायरेक्ट एक्सपेंसिस नहीं है प्रोडक्शन ओवर एट टू हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ वेजेस वेजेस हाउ मच इन टू हंड्रेड तो टू हंड्रेड का डबल क्या हो जाएगा फोर हंड्रेड Now take the total 100 kilogram total of debit side 3,300. Now same amount I am taking on the credit side. So by process three account, the output of process two will become input of process three. यानी यहाँ से output जा रहा कहाँ पर जा रहा three में. So by process three account balancing figure output transferred at the rate of 33 rupees per kilogram. 3,300 divided by 100 you'll get 33 rupees per kilogram. Two processes completed. One and two. Now I am coming to the process three account. Process three account debit side two process two account input. How much? Hundred kilogram three thousand three hundred. Now apart from that direct material hundred direct wages hundred direct expense two hundred production over a two hundred percent of wages. So wages are hundred. Hundred ka double two hundred. Take the total three thousand nine hundred is the total on the debit side hundred kilogram. Take the same values on the credit side. Hundred kilogram, three thousand nine hundred. So balancing figure three thousand nine hundred hundred kilogram finished to stop. We don't have process four. We have only three process. Process one, process two, process three. A process three se kahan par jayega? Finished to stock account. It will go to finished to stock account. Product is produced. So by finished to stock account balancing figure hundred. Output transferred at the rate of three thousand nine hundred divided by hundred, you will get thirty nine rupees per kilogram. That's all. This is the first main problem. It's very simple because we don't have any losses. कोई normal loss, abnormal loss, abnormal gain, sale of scrap, nothing is given in this problem. So whatever input we are getting, that will be transferred to output as the next process. That's all. This is the completion of problem number 1 right in the next video we'll start problem number 2 come on students now we'll start the next problem that is problem number 2 see the second problem a product passes through three stages of production and the product of each stage becomes the raw material of the next stage so instead of saying process account we will call it as stages account stage a stage b stage c So it is given in the problem. Every process we are incurring some expenditure. The output of one A process will become input of B process. Further raw material are also added at each stage. During March 1983, 2,000 units of finished product were produced with the following expenditure. That means in this problem also we don't have any um, normal loss or abnormal loss or abnormal gain. Losses are not given. Input and output both are equal. Just like the first problem, these are the initial problems. That's why we don't have any complications. As we progress further, we'll have all types of losses. Now, in this problem, <clears throat> input two thousand, output also two thousand. Stage A, stage B, stage C. We are given material twenty thousand, sixteen thousand, eight thousand. Labor sixteen thousand, twenty four thousand, twelve thousand. Direct expenses twelve hundred, two thousand and eight hundred. So we are given material, labor, direct expense for all the three stages. Indirect expenses amounted to two thousand six hundred. Indirect expenses are called overheads. Now overheads we have to apportion between the three processes, three stages. अब ये two thousand six hundred total दिया है. ये total को तीनों stage A, B, C में divide करेंगे. कैसा divide करेंगे? It is given. It is to be apportioned on the basis of labor. So in working note. We have to apportion this 2,600 indirect expenses in the ratio of labor. So, what is the labor given? Labor is given 16,000, 24,000, 12,000. Or we can call it as 16 is to 24 is to 12. 16 is to 24 is to 12. This is the ratio of labor. 
in this ratio we divide the indirect expense of 2600 our main raw material issued to stage a besides above was 12000 upar jo material diya a stage mein 20000 वो 20,000 मेटल को छोड़कर मेन रॉ मटेरियल इश्यूड इन स्टेज ए इस 12,000 तो दो मटेरियल लेंगे स्टेज ए में स्टेज ए में टू मटेरियल फर्स्ट मेन मटेरियल 12,000 लेंगे फिर अदर मटेरियल 20,000 प्रिपेयर द प्रोसेस कॉस्ट अकाउंट शोइंग द कॉस्ट पर यूनिट एट ईच स्टेज एंड द टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ फिनिश्ड प्रोडक्ट एट द फाइनल स्टेज दिस this problem is also very simple just like the first problem because we are not having any losses right now stage a in stage a to main raw material 2000 units input and output are same 2000 input 2000 output so 2000 units input main raw material cost is 12000 other raw material is 20000 Labor 16,000, direct expenses 1,200, indirect expense 800. How we got this 800 here in working notes I have shown. Indirect expense are 2,600 to be apportioned in the ratio of labor. Labor is 16,000, 24,000, 12,000. Three zeros nikal diya to 16 is to 24 is to 12. If you add up this three, 16 plus 24, 40. 40 plus 12, 52. So 16 by 52. 24 by 52, 12 by 52. So here A, stage A, 2600 into 16 by 52, 800. Stage B, 2600 into 24 by 52, 1200. Stage C, 2600 into 12 by 52, 600. So stage A may 800 lenge, stage B, 1200, stage C, 600. These are the indirect expenses. So here indirect expense 800, this 800 I have taken, that's all. Now take the total, 2000, add up all the debit side, we'll get 50,000. Now 2000, 50,000. There is nothing, no incomes are given, no losses are given. That's why, jitra input tha, utra output ho gaya. So stage B, from stage A, it is going to stage B. So by stage B account balancing figure 2000, 50,000. Output transferred at the rate of 25 per unit. 2000 units banai. Expenditure kitma hoga 50,000. So 50,000 divided by 2000 you get 25 rupees per unit. This is in stage A. Now we'll come to stage B. The output will become input. Output of A will become input of B. So to stage A account 2000, 50,000. Yaha se aya. 2000, 50,000. To material 16,000, to labor 24,000, to direct expense 2,000, given in the problem. Indirect expense are 1,200. Here we have calculated 1,200 rupees. Take the total 2,000, 93,200 is the total of these five items. 93,200. Now this will be transferred to stage C. By stage C account balancing figure 2,000, 93,200. Output transferred at the rate of. Divide the 93 to 100 divided by 2000, we get 46.6 per unit. That's all. This is stage B. Now we'll come to the stage C. To stage B account, input are B. Se. B ka output, C ka input. 2000, 93,000, To material 8000, to labor 12,000, to direct expense 800, to indirect expense 600 from this. Now take the total 2000. Total of debit side 1,14,600. So 1,14,600 balancing figure. This will go to finished stock account. Only we have three stages. Stage A, B, C. The output of C will go to finished stock. By finished stock account balancing figure. So 1,14,600 divided by 2,000. 57.3 per unit. That's all. This is the end of problem number 2. Now see the problem number 3. A brand, a particular brand of phenyl passed through three important processes. During the month of June 1983, 600 gross of bottles were produced. So totally 600 gross of bottles. We treat one gross of bottle as one unit. One gross of bottle is equal to one unit. And 600 gross of bottle means 600 units. So 600 units were produced. The cost books show the following information. Again, in this problem, we are not going to encounter any losses. Now, third problem may be no losses. Aane wale problem mein loss 
first three problems are very very simple in order to make you understand how to make the process accounts now three processes are given one two three material labor direct expense cost of bottles cost of corks these are the expenses which should be debited to process account the indirect expense for the period were 1400 just like the previous problem the indirect expense for 1400 should be apportioned between the three processes but in this problem it is not given on what basis we have to apportion previous problem it was given how to apportion the indirect expense but in this problem it is not given we suppose we assume indirect expenses will be apportioned on the basis of labor only again we apportion on the basis of labor if even if it is not given in the problem if the problem is silent the indirect expenses will be apportioned on the basis of labor the byproduct of process 2 was sold for 200 and the residue of process 3 was sold for 120 this is the new point in this problem previous problem there was no incomes but in this problem it is saying that some residue was sold some scrap was sold some byproduct was sold in process 2 we are getting some byproduct and the sale of byproduct will realize 200 rupees so this 200 rupees will be credited in process 2 account so process 2 account may ek income as sale of byproduct so the sale of byproduct will be credited in process 2 similarly in process 3 there is a residue sale sale of residue 120 rupees will be credited in process 3 in process 1 we don't have any income in process 2 and process 3 we have sale of residue and sale of scrap prepare the account in respect of each process showing its cost and cost of production of finished product per gross or products that's it. this is the problem now see here process 1 account in process 1 account we debit to material how many gross of bottles we are making 600 there is no loss input 600 output 600 so 600 gross bottles 5000 rupees material labor 3000 a direct expense 1200 indirect expense 600 how indirect expense 600 here in working note i have shown indirect expense are 1400 given it will it will be apportioned in the ratio of labor labor is given 30 is to 25 is to 50 3000 is to 2500 is to 1500 two zeros nikal diya i have removed two zeros so 30 is to 25 is to 15 or 5 6 is 30 5 5 is 25 5 3 is 15 so ratio kya ho gaya 6 is to 5 is to 3 add up karlo pura 14 ho gaya 6 plus 5 11 11 plus 3 14 so process 1 1400 into 6 by 14 600 process 2 1400 into 5 by 14 500 process 3 1400 into 3 by 14 300 so 1400 ko tino mein divide kar diya 600 500 300 so in process 1 i have taken indirect expense 600 take the total 600 take the total of debit side 9800 so 9800 amount 600 units now this will be the output and going to process 2 so by process 2 account output transferred 9800 9, divided by 600 you will get 16.33 per unit per unit means per gross of bottles that's all first process completed now i'm coming to the second process process 2 account debit side to process 1 600 9800 the output of process 1 will become input of process 2 so 600 9800 to material, to labor, to direct expense, to indirect expense. One more cost is the cost of bottles. The cost of bottles are not there in first process. Cost of bottle is given in second process. So to cost of bottle 2300. There is a sale of scrap or byproduct. It is given in the problem. In process 2, there is a sale of byproduct which realizes 200 rupees. So by sale of byproduct 200 rupees only in amount column no in uh, not any, any quantity only in amount column you should take 200 now by process 3 account the output of process 2 will go to process 3 so by process 3 account 600 bottles now take the total on the debit side 18,900 18,900 minus 200 18,700 
तो 18,700 डिवाइड बाय 600 यू विल गेट 31.17 पर यूनिट दैट्स ऑल दिस इज प्रोसेस नंबर 2 नाउ प्रोसेस नंबर 3 डेबिट साइड टू प्रोसेस टू अकाउंट 618,700 दिस इज द आउटपुट एंड दिस इज द इनपुट नाउ to material 2000, to labor 1500, to direct expense 500, to indirect expense 300, to cost of corks. The cost of corks are not there in second process and first process. It is there only in the third process. Cost of corks 300. Take the total. There is an income. Sale of residue. Sale of residue 120 rupees is the income in process 3. So by sale of residue 120 rupees only amount call. By finished stock account, up three process okay. We don't have any fourth process. So from three third process directly it will go to finished stock account. By finished stock account balancing figure six hundred twenty three one eighty. Then output at the rate of twenty three one eighty divided by six hundred thirty eight point six three per unit. That's all. So we have completed three problems, three main problems. So if you have watched the theory as well as these problems. Now you got some command regarding the problems of process costing. So if you are satisfied, if you are happy with my lecture, give a like to this video, share it and subscribe if you are not subscribed till now. We'll continue this in the next video inshallah.